In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your windshield washer fluid reservoir. Let's get started. From underneath, if your vehicle is equipped with fog lights, let's unplug these first. That way the connections are out of our way. You can just reach in here, push this tab back and pry the connector down. Unplug it, do the same to the other side because the fog lights will come with the bumper cover. On both sides of the bumper cover, you'll have two 10 millimeter screws. Remove both of them. One is right here and the other one right here. Again, do this to both left and right side. Make sure the fender liner pops out of its retaining uh, clip here. All right, on the side by the wheel, You'll notice that where the bumper cover meets the fender, if you peel this fender liner back, there will be a hidden 10 millimeter bolt. We'll have to remove that. Do this to the other side as well. At this point on each side, we can just pop the bumper cover off just like that. On the lower grill at the front, you'll see that there are two push clips to be removed because they hold the bumper cover onto the actual crash bar here, the uh, bumper support underneath. And the only three things holding it on at the top are gonna be two Phillips head screws right here and here, and then a push clip. Let's start with the push clip. Just get your trim tool, pop out the center, and remove the outer piece. As for the Phillips head screws, just get a screwdriver in there. <coughs> Sometimes they're pretty stuck, but unscrew them. This rubber piece will come with them. And at this point, we can pull the bumper cover straight off. Be careful because behind it, there will be a uh, styrofoam piece. This right here, it should stay attached to this, but sometimes it doesn't and it comes off with the bumper cover. There you go, set this aside. Now to start replacing this reservoir, as you can see, it's pretty full with washer fluid, so I don't wanna waste it. So down by the pump here, as soon as I pull this hose off, I'm, I have a plug ready, and I'm just going to cap off this fitting so that fluid doesn't come out. Now, of course, if you wanted to drain it into something, you can do that, but my plan is to cap this off, keep it sealed in here, and then once the new reservoir is in, just pour it into the new one. This hose is likely kind of stuck on here. There will be some loss of fluid here, Okay, there we go, that's better. Let's unplug the electrical connector to the motor, unclip it from over here, unclip the hose as well. Take a trim tool and pop off any wiring that is attached to it. Set that aside. Now take a 10 millimeter socket and remove the two bolts that hold this on. There is actually one last bolt on the side here between the fender liner and the reservoir itself. And what you want to do now is there are two little tabs here that you can just barely see, but I'll show you on the new one. This is what they look like. You just have to squeeze them in like that and that'll release pressure off of the filler neck. Press in on these tabs. There's one and two and out comes the reservoir. Take the new one, slide it up and into position. Those two clips there will hold it on temporarily. I'm going to re-secure it with the two front screws. I'm not going to completely tighten them though until I get the rear one in and get this rear one in. I'm gonna tighten this up. All right, now with that rear one in, let's tighten them. Plug in the electrical connector, reconnect the hose, make sure it's fully seated and bottomed out there. Otherwise you'll have a leak. Resecure the hose, resecure the wire, and resecure this other harness right over here. Now let's get the bumper back on, then we can fill it up. Grab your bumper cover and make sure that this styrofoam piece is still attached either to the vehicle or to the bumper cover. It's important that you have this here. Slide it over, pay attention to your headlights, make sure you don't scratch the lenses, make sure everything fits in just fine. Center it up and it'll kind of fall into place once it's lined up, 
on the side, make sure it lines up with the headlight assembly and make sure it lines up with the clip over here or the bumper bracket, tap it in. This seems to be perfect. At the front, put back the two push clips. On the side, peel back the fender liner again and re-secure the bumper cover to the fender. This screw screws into plastic, so make sure you don't over tighten it because it'll easily strip out and then it won't hold. Tuck the fender liner back into place. Once you've done that to both sides, plug in both fog lights and then grab the fender liner underneath here and re-secure it to the bumper. Put the clip in the middle back into its spot and lock it in. Push the bumper cover in to line it up with the bolt hole here and re-secure this Phillips head screw. I'm gonna hold it so that it lines up as I tighten it. Make it nice and snug and do the same to the other side. Open the cap on this new one and pour in the washer fluid from your other container. From your original washer fluid bottle, you can remove this strainer with the level indicator and slide it right into the new one. Cap it off. And there you go. There you have it, job done. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.